Hey everyone, today in this video we're going to be talking about how I'm going to be organizing some brick arms. So in case you don't know, Brick Arms is a company that makes third-party Lego minifigure accessories, mainly weapons, for like minifigure enthusiasts. I like guns, I like Brick Arms and minifigures, so I've naturally just kind of become a Brick Arms collector. As you can see here, I stored them in this binder right now. Each weapon has a bag, each bag has a spot, and then each bag is sort of like labeled here, just so I know which guns are which and just kind of to know which ones I have. I'm not trying to collect them all or anything like that. I just, I don't have the time, like, sort of, or the desire to collect them all. But I do want to be able to know which weapons I have. Right now, the system is actually, it's working great. I really like the way I have it because it allows me to know which weapons I have and things like that. The problem is when I want to order more, I'm never actually sure which weapons I have because they're not organized in a way that's easy to tell. So say I'm on the website shopping for brick arms and I want to buy a gun or like just a gun. I who knows what kind of gun. I have to go through every single page to know if I have that gun or not. I may have it, I may not, and you know, I have a couple hundred here, so it's hard to remember exactly which ones I do and which ones I do not have. And then I'm going to organize them so next time I want to go to buy some brick arms online, I'll be able to know which ones I have just by looking to see if I have it in that order and what color and things like that. So I'm not going to be digging through this book. So I'm going to take you along through that entire process with my camera. The first thing I'm going to be doing is going through this entire book and I'm going to be picking out all the weapons that aren't labeled. So as you can see, there's one right here. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to set it to the side there and just keep making sure I go through this entire book, anything that's not labeled. Just going through and making sure that I'm not missing any because I want to get all of them labeled so I know what everything is. So I have everything saved. As you see here, I have my Brick Lover 18 USB stick as well as my iPad. And what my iPad's gonna do right now is that I've kind of narrowed it down. I have everything I need to have labeled. I'm going to use this Excel document here. So as you can see there, it says weapon, and I'm going to be able to write the weapon. And then there is going to be quality or quantity and color, so I know which one I have each. And then I'm going to have C where the location in the book, so like page number as well as column number. So this is what I have so far. So I'm really excited to start labeling it out. Alright, so I've now done two pages of the Brick Arms, and this is what it looks like. So this is my iPad here. As you can see, I'm in Microsoft Excel on the App Store. Well, like, not on the App Store, but the app. And then here, I've been listing all the different weapons that I've been putting in. I've been putting the quantity and the color, so like one gunmetal, one tan, one black, one trans blue. And then the location in the thing, so two means page, and then the three is what slot on the page, like slot one, slot two, slot three. So now I'm upstairs in my room at my computer, and what I'm gonna do now, because it didn't work on my iPad, I highlight everything, I go to formulas, no actually, you go to data, sorry, you go to sort, go like this, hit OK, and now, as you can see, everything is completely in alphabetical order, which is super convenient because now, pretend I'm at gibrick.com. I'm going to go to shop, and I'm just going to look at weapons, and say I really like that one right here, the Brick Arms M1 Carbine. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to go to M1, and I'm going to see that I do not have that Brick Arms weapon. So I know that I can view details and add it to my cart. Now, I'm not done, I actually do have this weapon, but I'm just not done adding in all the data yet, but that's what I'm gonna continue working on doing. Thanks everybody for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you like this kind of video and if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.